In this video, we're going to take a look at installing Backtrack 5 uh, as an operating system on this computer. So I'm going to go ahead and choose now the default that we've got here to start with. And the machine's going to go ahead and load up everything for us here before it gives us the prompt. And once you're presented with the prompt, if you're running it from the live CD, you already are logged in as the root user. So if you want to start the graphical interface, you can see here by the asterisk there, it does tell us to type in startx. And so we'll go ahead and type in startx here to start the graphical. And we actually have chosen the GNOME desktop. And so what you can see here is a different desktop for us to work with the backtrack. And to begin with, right on our desktop we are given the install backtrack. So I'm going to go ahead and double click this to begin the installation of the operating system. And so our first step is to choose the language. So I'm going to go ahead and choose English and just hit forward. The second step is to install the actual uh, time zone or to set up the time zone. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it in New York. This is the time zone here for me. I'll go ahead and hit forward. As far as the keyboard layout is concerned, it uh, has already selected USA and this is the correct one for me. So I'll just go ahead and hit forward. And now as far as preparing for our disk space for the installation of the operating system, it has already selected the hard drive that I wish to choose. I've only got one hard drive as an option here. It's a 20 gig hard drive. And you can see that the option for erasing and using the entire disk is going to be in the option. So we're going to do this on a computer that has no operating system. If you did have an operating system on there previously or a partition set up, you would notice it here on the graph. And so I currently do not have it. When it's all said and done with, it's going to install Backtrack on this entire drive. So I'm going to go ahead and hit forward. And after that selection, I'll go ahead and skip to step number seven. And we're going to go ahead and choose now to install it. I can review the, the settings that I've picked, and we're going to go ahead and hit install. And you're going to see it go through and actually start the installation system for us. Once the installation is completed, all you need to do now is restart the actual computer. So I'm going to choose restart now. Now after you hit the restart button and it goes down through here, uh, through the shutdown, it does tell us that you need to remove the disk uh, and close the tray and press enter. What you need to do is remove the live disk or live CD that you have in there as well as the live USB drive if you've got it booted from a USB drive or a CD-ROM. So that next time it boots up after we hit enter, it does not boot from that CD but actually boots from the hard drive itself. So we'll go ahead and remove that and then hit enter. One thing to note now, it does say BT login, so I need to actually log in with the root user rather than just typing in startx. And so I'm going to need to go ahead and type in root. The password is going to be TOOR, and I should log in here now as the root user. And so to start the actual graphic uh, desktop, I'm going to go ahead and type in startx. And now with the desktop booted back up, we've completed the installation of Backtrack 5 using the GNOME desktop. 